when people sick i care when people hungry i care when people has uh, you know has have no place to sleep i care when people has problem i care when i have money in my pocket i give to others so i am proud the way i am even if i was born in a very poor family and i know also where i am coming from i even if i will be rich tomorrow i will still take where i am coming from and i will still keep going to help others because i know misery is not good it's hard hungry is very hard thirsty is very hard homeless is very hard so anyway i have to take order even if i become rich tomorrow this is my dream and i hope to change my life too the way i would like to change the life of others when you die you are not going with money so you leave everything and you go by yourself that's why when that's why i help with my money so i know i will leave money you know i will fly without money by myself no more money so that's why i am enjoying i enjoy to help and i want to help i would like to continue to help others i know god will question me in saying when i was hungry did you give me food when i was in jail did you come to see me when i was no crops did you give me some when i was sick did you give me did you help me to go to the hospital that's why i help so i help because i'm a christian i got married i have two children mela is my face my elder daughter he is 23 years old she should have go to the university next year john sley is next one he is 11 so i have two children with two mamas with two mothers but now i guess i have about 10 years with my wife to get married 10 years so now i have my own life with my family with my wife with my children belange i met her in city soleil but she was living in another neighborhood called kafu kafu is different from city soleil right so this is where people have few people you know have possibility to stay to live better and when i met her i was afraid because i saw her so wonderful i see wow i don't think so i can go to talk to her because i have no money <laughs> i'm poor but I, i don't think so she's going to say yes with me and then i went to, to take a chance and to talk to her and i say can you give me one second please in my heart i say if she give me one second i will take five <laughs> <laughs> and she stop and please good morning i say bonjour say bonjour me dit capable me un second s'il vous plaît can you give me one second please he say yes i say ah okay in my heart i was happy in my heart and he give me one second and i take five <laughs> <laughs> and at that time so he say yeah and he <laughs> say okay if she wanted to talk to me so i don't want to talk in the streets so this is where i am living and you are going to talk to my family not me before and i went to talk to her family and they say but she just come here she from you know she from the countryside she has problem i say yes but i love her she's nice she's wonderful mm -hmm. i want to have her but at that time i have no money i have nothing but anyway i said to her but i would like to breed a new life with you 
without money, love. Can we breed, can we build a, a love without money? He say, yes, but I would like to go to school. I say, okay, I will help you to go to school. That the way, you know, we become like a friend. So she become my girlfriend, okay? And that day we wanted now one we got married. Okay. So now we have once we, we have a son. That's great. So we have a life. Even if she's doing nothing, me too. But anyway, she's a good a good woman. Belange Gerland. So we try to see how we can change Haiti. Even if I will die, but my dream will continue. So I would like my dream come true. Only Haitian people can sit down together. They have to be consent say, wow, Haiti is my country. We have to sit down together to change Haiti to have Haiti. Not other people, not American people, not Canadian people. You know, not England people. Haitian people have to sit down together and to resolve the, the problem of Haiti. If they don't want to do that, Haiti will never change. You can change Haiti. You cannot change Haiti. You know? Me alone, yeah. Say Haitians, they have to, to be concerned that Haiti has to change. How? Stop stop to fight between themselves fighting with a new idea fighting to see how we can develop Haiti fighting against corruption so you know so that's way we can have a very good country come with new idea say okay this is what we have for Haiti how we can do this sit down on the table together and we can have a resolution for Haiti. I set up an HNO, an organization, non-profit organization. For what? Because I see when you sit down and then in groups and you come up with an organization, you can help more. So now in my organization, I have many disciplines. So like school program, like orphanage program, like school music, like um, health care or health clinic, like feeding program. So I have many things, sport too. I, I have a good team in my organization, right? So. I think people see what I am doing, they understand, and they give value, they appreciate what I am doing. So now they say, okay, you're doing a good thing, a good job, guy, keep going. So that's give me courage, so I have to keep going.